excitement levels, my excitement levels have now gone up really, really high because I think, oh my god, I think I've found something that I haven't found before. Truly, truly haven't found before, and I've always wanted to find. Let me just pop that down. Let me just pop that down. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh here we go. We've got some, uh, oh some pipes here. Ah. This is a very big pipe, this one. This is a very late pipe, this one here. It's got, now, got a code on it. It's got a code here, but it's a very late pipe. But pipes had a very, oh. very interesting oh. history. Very interesting history. Like, they never started off as a tobacco thing. Didn't they make... No, it wasn't for tobacco. Many, many years ago, I think it was 14... 14... 14... Yeah, 14... I think it's 14... 3 of them. It's also a different story. Um, it's a different story, right? Yeah, it's but, um, the 14, right story, one, goodness sake. A young guy called David John Stephen, front names. Right, um, okay. He wanted to have a cigarette or right. smoke. Right. But okay. he didn't have no rizz rizzlers. Rizzlers? They had rizzlers in rizzlers 1401. Rizzlers or... Um, okay, rizzlers in 1401. Or stuff that they rolled in tobacco. Leafs, probably. Leafs. And um, he decided he needed to have that smoke. So he decided, right. what, he, what are you going to do? What are you right. going to do? Is he, in them days, yeah. pipes were used for blowing bubbles for kids. I came down into this first hole and I thought, oh, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Tried to get my nose right down to the ground, see if I could see any beads. Um, I couldn't, but then I just looked down there and I have no idea what that is. I thought it was something to do with the doll's house. That thing there. You know, like a cup or something. I just don't know because it looks like it's got a finished, finished edge at the bottom. But then I thought, oh, maybe it's a head, but then how would it attach if that's a finished edge at the bottom? So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look and see what that is. Oh, well, it's not a head, right? But I actually don't know what that is. What is that? Is it? I don't know. I don't, you know what? I have no idea what that is. It's it's lumpy. Can you see the lumps on it? It's it's complete. It's full. Whatever it is. But I have no idea. I was quite hopeful it was a head. Um, quietly hopeful. But no, it's not. What is it? I really don't know. But that is a super... And that, there you go. Never found before. Whatever that is, I have... Whoops. I have never found it before. So start started off with something I haven't found before. But no idea what it is. If you do know, comment down below what you think it could be couple of things down here don't collect it put pipe stem always a nice find but we'll leave it there for somebody else and that floral bit of pottery which actually turns out to be something like um is it a cup for people with moustaches you know so you don't get your moustache wet something like that or i've just made that up have I, have I just made that up a cup for people with moustaches i don't know i do have a feeling <laughs> that i've just been plucked out of nowhere a cup for people that have moustaches to stop your moustache getting wet. I don't know. But then again, it's got flowers on it. Oh, maybe it's like an invalid cup. That makes more sense. <laughs> maybe, yeah. It's got flowers on it. Maybe it's an, an invalid's cup rather than a cup for stopping moustaches getting wet. Yeah, oh gosh, I think that rubbish bit of history that Mick does has rubbed off onto me. From up here, that looks like a pipe bowl. Is it? Oh, part. Oh, only part of a pipe bowl. I won't bother keeping that. I've got many, many of full pipe bowls. Oh, what's that? No, no, no. It's... Oh, it's a lead, pe lead pencil. It's a slate pencil. Oh, I thought it was a bit of pipe stem then. There you go. A slate pencil. That's a nice little find. A little personal, um, personal find that of a slate pencil. Yeah, we'll keep that. Right, I think maybe... These holes in the middle have been dug, so we'll have a look at those. But yeah, for now, slate pencil, you're going in my pocket. I'll just put my finger on this thing here, but I don't want to pick it up, but it looks flat. It was just buried, just that bottom corner there, can you see where the soil was? It was buried when that top bit was sticking out. But I don't know what it is, so let's investigate it together. 
Right, I don't know what it is, but it's beveled. Right, it's beveled. Let's see if we can get it. It's got speckles in it, sort of a green with speckles in it. Sorry, what, mate? Right, okay, I'll have a look in a minute. I can't see anything at the moment. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's beveled. Sorry, beveled edges with like, it's like a green, dark green with like red speckles in it. What on earth is that? Is it some sort of flat back off a. Put my glasses on. Let's investigate. What is that? It's a shame that, that top edge is a little bit broken at there. I don't know how best for you to see the colour of it. It's a shame that top edge is broken, but what? You can see the colour better on that side, actually. Look, can you see the speckles? What is it? So I'm going to say it went that way, whatever it was. Probably some sort of jewellery, some sort of backing piece of some jewellery. But that is a lovely find. Another never found before thing. Right, Mick has thrown something at me as well. So let me just pop that in here. Okay. Three little gems in there. Right, he's throw Oh, stopper. There it is. He's chucked a stopper at me. Let's have a look. Here we go. That'll be a St Helens one, won't it? Not all St Helens. Glass stopper. Always a lovely find and a lovely gem. A glass stopper. And I'm sure I must have something that these stoppers go on. I actually, I just, I just put them in a big jar. Actually, they're just all in a big jar. But I must have something that I can use them on. Yeah, but glass stopper. And that little kabunchin, is it called? Something like that. Um, a little flat back thing with speckles in it. What is it? Don't know. Oh, yes. New boots. No messing around. New boots. New boots. New finds. Put a piece of pottery there. Just thought I'd like to see that. It's always nice to see an interesting piece of pottery. Your eyes peeled, everyone. Not sure what that is, but let's investigate it together. Hmm, is it? I don't know. Is it glass? Hmm, it's broken. But I'm not even sure what that is. A little something. Hmm, could have been a button. Finished edge. Yeah, possibly a black button. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a button. No, it's pottery, isn't it? So whatever that is, circular pottery thing that's slightly broken. It's no good, but it's worth having a look at just to see if we can figure out what it was. Okay, right. I'm getting my head today. I seem to be getting my head close to the ground because I'm thinking I'm missing lots of gems. Right, I don't know what that is. I haven't touched it. I can assure you, I haven't, whatever that is there, I haven't touched it. But I don't know why I'm hopeful it's a head. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not so sweet. <laughs> I'm gutted. I thought, oh. <laughs> I'm gutted. I thought it was the back of a doll's head. It just shows you. Um, people are on here spitting out sweets. Brilliant. It's a sweet. Oh, gutted. Not a doll's head. I don't know, but that looks like it might be a marble. And it is. Super great find, a clay marble, not a very big one, but still a great find, a little marble. Oh gosh, honestly, the pickings here today are really, really slim. Loads of stuff's broken, so that makes me think that some people have been coming in and just smashing anything that's whole, which is not very good, but it's making me focus a little bit more on these smaller bits. And that this, this one is not a sweet, like I found before, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but I thought it was the back of a doll's head, but it was actually a sweetie. <laughs> there you go, a chewed up sweetie. But that one is certainly a gem. It's a clay marble, and we always love to find clay marbles. Oh, that's a big spider. Yuck, 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 big spider. Right, I'm just clearing out some of this at the bottom, some of these branches at the bottom, and seeing if there's anything that's rolled, rolled down here, because you never know. Oh, you know what? Somebody sent me a picture. I can't remember who it was now. Somebody said, oh, what's that? 
down a dance saying case it's another sweet i'll have a look at that in a second someone sent me a picture with a broken cup like this or jug whatever this is and um it was painted it was painted on the inside and it had flowers around it and it was like a little fairy garden so yeah you know what as odd as that is i'm going to keep that I tell you what, if i find the picture i'll get mick to put the picture on the screen now of a little painted cup with flowers on it that was painted to look like a little fairy garden so as strange as that may seem i'm going to keep that because that was actually oops no, i haven't broke it anymore that one is actually a little bit fancier than the one that i was shown so yeah you may think it odd but that is definitely a keeper because it was only yesterday as well but right let's have a look it was this here i'm just looking at things that have fallen down here is that a sweeter Dan. Oh, it is. It's another sweeter. We've been having sweets down here. Oh, right. I'm going to be thinking I'm finding doll. Oh, what's that? Finding doll's heads all day today, you know. What's that? It's cog. Oh, if it's a cog, I like it. I keep cogs. Anything cog like. Oh, it's completely corroded, so I won't be keeping that one. But let's just check. See if anything apart from sweets that look like doll's heads have uh, come down here. Oh, the sun's out now. Oh. Let me tell you, it was raining all night, and I thought we will not be out tomorrow at all. Sorry, just looking. We will not be out tomorrow at all because of all the rain last night. But luckily, the sun's out today, so we are. And what have we got? Oh, a nice piece of pottery. Not going to keep it. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. But I am going to show it you. There you go. That's nice. Bit of willow by the look of it. Nice piece, but I'm not going to keep it. Right. Nothing. I don't know what that was, but it looks a little bit interesting, so I thought, oh, and you know what, I think it's one of them water, is it water, um, thing? what's that, I'll look at that in a minute, one of them, like, long, tall stoneware things, I think, for water with a handle on, it just looked interesting, but what's that, oh, no, half, half a big marble, oh, I'm going to still keep it, half a big marble is better than a no marble at all, what a shame, where's the other half? How does that even break? Yeah, half a marble, I will keep you. That would have been a beauty, what a shame. What a shame, that's not full. Brought a nice bright bag today so that I can't miss, I'll stick that in there, so that I can't miss it, I can't leave it behind. And uh, looking at what we've got today, I think it's gonna, gonna be, um, it's only gonna be a one bag rule anyway, but a tiny little gems, isn't it? So. Get all tiny little shoe over there, tiny, tiny. This is a place I found quite a few tiny little shoes, actually, little kids' boots, soles, and things like that. Also found a clog here. Did find a clog. Right, come on, let's keep looking. Right, I'm not sure, but I think that looks like an ear, but on a darker skinned doll. Is it? It is. It is an ear of a darker skinned doll. Well, there you go. I've never found a doll's face that colour. Don't know if you can tell on, on this camera what colour it is, but it's certainly a tanned colour at the very, very least. But that is in here. You know I keep doll's heads pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep that and I will use it. A super little doll's ear. Excuse my shadow. Second year, guys. Sticking the bottles out of a small bottle, but it's a bit broken. So we don't want a broken bottle. So that can stay there. Remaining of a pipe bowl. It's quite a large pipe bowl. There's uh, the remains of a pipe bowl. Looking for a better one than this, but this is what I have so far. There's a great history behind these. A few nice little bits down here. I'll show you what we've got. But I think a few bits cracked here or there. There's this one here. Look. Yeah, ginger beer. Ginger beer, but there's nothing here. There's this bottle over here. It's an odd shaped bottle, isn't it? It's all bent and bowed and I'm sure it's, it's got a few little cracks in that. I'm sure Sarah will keep that because of the odd shape that it is. Because we do like an odd shaped bottle. So I think we'll keep that. What do you guys think? Keep it? It's all warped, so probably the heat, the burning. Keep that there, because that's a keeper. Excuse my shadow. Sometimes the sun's just in the wrong place. What can you do? There's another one down here. Oh, jug, 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 glass, whatever you want to call it. It's got cracks in that as well. They're all a bit bad. Just out of there. 
There we go. Just close that for you to see a wall. Yeah. In uh, a video we did last week, um, someone spotted a pipe bowl under a bottle, next to a bottle, and you know what, they were right. When I looked back at the footage, there was a pipe bowl there and I missed it. So, um, don't think by saying, oh, I think I've seen something. I don't always say, oh, no, no, you're mistaken. It's this, that and the other. It really was a pipe bowl and I missed it. Ooh, feel gutted. Never know, could still be there if we go back to that place. Right, okay, let's keep looking because I'm hopeful that we will find lots and lots of gems today. <clears throat> What's that? I was given a suggestion to do for half plates as well. Proper ones in half, so... That's another thing to look for, isn't it? Plates. Right, I'd love to find a bead. I'm not gonna lie because I am putting my head clip. What's that? I'm sorry, you're in my shade, you can't even see. Don't know what that is, off a figurine or something. Some such thing. Sorry for filming in my shade. It's a bit difficult facing this way when the sun's behind you. Right, anything here? Nope, that's a spider's web. Look like a beautiful piece of pottery or something. Right. Nope. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, God, my excitement levels. My excitement levels. I've now gone up really, really high because I think. Oh, my God. I think I've found something that I haven't found before. Truly, truly haven't found before. And I've always wanted to find. Let me just pop that down. Let me just pop that down. Oh, my goodness. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I don't touch it. I don't touch it because it might fall apart. Oh. Oh my. I have never, ever found one of these before. Never, ever. Oh. And it's still got its back on. Still got his back. Oh, it's a bit twisted. I'm not going to. I'm not going to twist it. I'm not going to twist it because that will just. It'll either pop off or it'll just crumble up. But that is amazing. It's a domino. I have never ever found a domino before. I don't know if it looks plastic. Do you think it looks plastic? I might be getting too excited. I think it looks. Pla I don't know. I don't know. That is amazing. I have never ever found one of these before. So how many things we've found today that I've never found before? I think virtually everything. I think virtually everything that I found. I'm getting giddy so I'm talking fast. Slow down. I think virtually everything I've picked up today we've got in my head close to the ground has been something I haven't found before more or less. Hasn't it? That is amazing and that that is super. That is absolutely great. It's does it move? I don't want it. Oh, it does move, it does move, it does move. Right, just be careful. Oops, oh, I thought it broke it then. No, it does move, right, okay. How? I just, I've never, that's amazing. A super great find, a domino. I can't tell you. This is an 1800, 19, sorry, 1800, this is a 1900 dump. So is it that old, do you think? I don't know, I, can't, I just don't know. I'm too excited. That is a great find, a super domino. Looks like we have another slate pencil there. Snapped in the middle, it's not got its point, but still a good little find, a little slate pencil. Let's pop that into um, my bag with my super find, my super, super find. Had a closer look at that. I think that might be bone. So that's good. I'm so excited about that. I will certainly have to do something with that, some sort of craft with um, games pieces. Right, let's have a quick look on here. Let's see if we can see anything at all. Yeah, and if you think you see something, please feel free to say. I do check the footage back again. Oh, what's that? What does that say? From. All oh, right. Hmm, maybe greetings from or something like that. A little souvenir cup, maybe. Right, look, smashed. Things smashed, I think kids or people have been in here smashing oh what's that doorknob smashing the things that they don't want that happens 
that happens sometimes kids that don't appreciate history what have you there we go a doorknob yeah i can make that into a mushroom so that is definitely coming home with me an odd find but a nice ceramic doorknob right put that in my, my bright bag which i'll just leave there for a second let's have a look just to see if there's anything else while you're here Oops, oh, look a mini one, unfortunately. Bashed, oh, look at that purple flower. That's nice. Little bashed one, easily mendable, very easily. Say it all the time, mend it. Let's turn that glass over. Um, mend it and use it, because that side's perfectly okay. And you can decapatch it and cover it over anyway. Oh, what's that little blob of, blob of glass? Let's have a look at that. Right, what a blob of melted glass. It's something strange. Can you see it? A blob of melted glass is strange. It's a nothing, but I think I'm going to keep that. I'm sure I can use that for something. Right, let's pop that in there. Okay. Let's see if we've got anything else down here. Smashed. Everything's smashed. Is that, about, is that another slate pencil? Goodness me, I've never found so many in one day. Another slate pencil. That's got its point on as well. So that's, what's that, a slate pencil number three? Yep. I think I've only ever found probably one slate on here, maybe. Maybe one, but there you go, slate pencil. You know where that goes? In there, next to my best find ever. There, oh. Honestly, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Let's have a close look. See if there is anything else. I would love to find a bead. For all the effort I'm putting in today of looking close with my glasses on I can't I can't see anything nice nice bits of pottery though I'll have to be to see it nice black sort of outline design there I can hear bees above me because of all the flowers all these flowers right i can't can't see any other of the gems on here oh is that oh no, i thought it was another slate pencil what's that blue thing oh no it's just a bit of blue pigment okay right i'll keep looking i won't i won't make you endure the torturous thing of me scouring the floor to find one tiny little item what is it oh no way ah I don't know. I don't know, what it is. I don't know what that is. I've been trying hard to find beads and stuff. Oh, what's that? Oh, a stopper. A stopper. The other week we had a good chat up about that. We did have a good. I don't think we need to chat about bottle stoppers again now, Mick. I think enough has Although been said. No. Okay, we've got one of these bowls here. Let's see if it's just got a couple of. Chi oh no, it's got quite a big chip in it. What a shame! But always check it for writing, just in case. Um, I do have one with writing on, but very, very rare. To find the sorry, I don't, I was, there was a something in there I was looking at. I think it was a moth, um, but yeah, very, very rare for me to find them with writing on. They're not rare to find, but they're rare for me to find because the diggers get them all. Um, but yeah, that's not got writing on. Has that got no? Ooh, it's got ants on it. That's what that's got. Oh, ants nest, right? We'll just cover that back over. Sorry, mate, or oh, mates. There you go. You can have that back. Don't want you. No, thank you. Right, what's that there? Oh, I think it's just an egg cup, isn't it? Oh, it's got something on. Not just an egg cup. This might make it if it's something super exciting on this side. What is it? Let's pop the old glasses on. The Great Wheel Blackpool. Right. And because I don't live that far from Blackpool, really, an hour away from Blackpool, even though I don't like it. Um, Great Wheel of Blackpool. That on an egg cup is amazing. Great Wheel of Blackpool. I will, and I will be keeping that. My bright bag is down there, so I mustn't forget that. Um, but yeah, look at that egg cup with the Great Wheel Blackpool on it. That is a super find. A big dough bowl. Um, I have got one very much similar. There's a bottle as well, very similar to that, which I gilded the edges of actually and put something. I can't remember what I put in it, but I did. I did collect one just like that because it has got a little bit of a lip on it, so I could put things in it. I haven't got room for another one, but just an idea for people clean it gild the edges 
it looks quite nice. If uh, if you remember, if you remind me, I might be able to get it out for the live um, tomorrow. Or, well, if you're watching this on a Saturday, I might be able to get it out for the live on the Sunday. Um, it is just behind us, but there is a little bottle. It's full. Oh, it's got writing on. So, first bottle of the day. What is it? Tiny little one, and it is. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go. Green, no, Grace, Green Sills, Mona, Green Sills, Mona Bouquet, Greens, G R double E N S I double L apostrophe S, Green Sills. Yeah, sorry, Mona Boutique. What the devil, Mona Boutique? That is, never heard of it before. Green Sills Mona Boutique. We, we, we read that torturously together. Um, what is that? Don't know. As per usual, you are my researchers. Please find out what that is and let me know. A little clear bottle, and this. Don't forget, this dump is late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. So hopefully. Um, it's about that sort of age. Can you tell me what it is? Just let me know in the comments down below. What on earth is Green Sills Mona Bouquet? B-O-U-Q-U-E-T. Okay, I came over here to get this little tiny sole here. And then I found, along with that little tiny sole, can't see anything on the bottom of it. Very much like the one Alex and Gail found when they were here. But look, I found the back of a shoe as well and the inner inner sole. Let's have a look. That looks like it would have gone on that shoe. And that back bit, is that another bit to it? That back bit there. Look, with a little strap. Oh, look, it's got a little strap on it. I'm going to keep it. Look at that. It's got its little fastening strap on there. Let's just put that on there together. That's a little tiny little shoe. What did you say? Sorry, Mick. Oh, a little tiny one, right? Little pill bottle. And what's that? Oh, that's lead, is it? Yeah, lead. What would that be? Lead. Hmm, maybe a seal of something, like a top of, I don't know. I don't know what would they use lead for like that. No idea. Little tiny pill bottle. Little lead something or other, but that little tiny shoe that I found, what's that? I think it was a beetle. Um, yeah, I wonder if that, did you see a bit that could be the front of the shoe? What's that? That might be something else. It's very deep. Let me just put that lead thing in my bag for one sec. Pop that in there. In my special compartment. Right, what was that? Oh no, I don't think that's a bit of shoe. I think that's a bit of something else. Some other sort of fabric. But that is nice. What a shame we've not got the front bit of that shoe. We've got the inner sole, the outer sole. Well, half the inner sole, outer sole, and the, that leather back bit there, look, with the little strap on. It's a little strap there that makes it look cute. That is a nice little find, and I will be keeping that. I'll do another little shoe shoe picture, maybe. Not with the big... So I've got loads of big soles. Don't do anything with them, but I'll do something with that. A little tiny kid's shoe. As you know, I'm not a pottery person, but this one is very bright, very green. So, I thought it was worthy of a show, because I do know there are a few of you that like to see the pottery. That one is very bold and very green. There you go, for the pottery lovers of you. But I'm so, I made so many necklaces, I just ended up with loads of jewellery. <laughs> uh, i probably still got a few left as well, actually. Oh, is that another shoe? That is another shoe. That is probably a lady's shoe, because it's got a heel on it. Got nails up, you can just see them just going green. On the outside, not just going green, they've probably been green for a very long time. A heel. Oh, look at that, right? So let's have a look, see if we can see a little bit of detail on this. Look, that's the front of it. There you go, a little shaped bit at the front there. You see the stitches? Let's have a look at the back. You can see the back heel bit, probably a little strappy, strappy dancing shoe, maybe. What do you think? Oh, sorry, sorry, a little strappy, maybe dancing shoe because it's got a little bit of a heel on it but it's not a thin heel so you can dance in it made it all up I've no idea don't know but yeah quite a few shoes on here for some, for some reason that's that 
bit of pottery soap there. Let me just pop my bag down. Oh, oh butter. I think it's off a butter. I think it's off um, a butter dish. That would have been a nice hole. Right, okay, I shall continue looking. I'll go down here and scour the... Oh, if I can. Can I go down there? No, I won't go down there because that looks like I will not be able to get back out again. I will go down there and see if I can scour the hole and find some gems. Okay, I'm just thinking there's nothing here. I spy a tiny a little flared, wonky-lipped bottle. Possible bit of a label on. No point in trying to save it. But there you go, a tiny little flared lip, wonky flared lip bottle. You're a little keeper and a little gem amongst a sea of not a lot really. It's all very overgrown um, and not been dug recently. So, yep, there you go. I think we're doing well. Over there, right, okay. That there looks like a bottle and it looks like I can see its lip up there. So, it looks like it could be a whole, a full little one. And it is, it's a full little bottle. That's a super great find. Right, oh, hang on, is that another? Is that another little? Oh, look, even that tiny, even to look at the size difference on that. A super tiny little bottle, a little square one. Looks like it's still, oh, it's got a pouring lip. I always forget to look for pouring lips. That one is super tiny and it has a pouring lip there. Look at that. That is a little gem, a true little gem, right? I'm working my way over there because Mick said he's seen something over there. So let's just have a quick look, considering we found two super little finds in one little spot. In fact, without moving my feet. Oh, 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 look at that, right. I'm gonna go for this first, because this is more exciting. It's a pipe bowl, and it's a big, chunky, thick one again. Wow, that is amazing. That is a big chunk of a pipe bowl. Super duper fine. Then this OXO, a lovely colour OXO, very light coloured. There you go. Stick you there. Is there anything else without moving my feet? I think once you move your feet, you start covering things over, don't you? What's that? Oh, it's a bit of um, Coke. What's that there? That was like half a doll's cup. It is half a little doll's cup. What a shame. I don't do anything with that. It's a, it's a pity. Would have been nice if it was full. But it just shows you there's dolls and stuff here. I've found arms and legs here, actually. So, But there you go. My little gems on this one little spot here. Two little bottles. One tiny little one with a pouring lip. There. That chunky, massive. Has it got anything on it? Hang on, one sec. Oh, I dismissed it. It has got something on it. I thought it was just a chunky plain one. Oh, gosh, that was close. That was really close. That was really close. I nearly didn't see that at all then. Sorry about any sniffles. That's got something on it. Oh, I've had these be before. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, we've had it with the 98 in the middle. It's the, um, some Irish, it's got an Irish clover thing in there something nation oh i forgot what it's called with a 98 in it yeah i have found those before big chunky one and it does have embossing on it and i nearly dismissed it just shows you spend it an extra a uh, few seconds having a look at it great little finds all of them a find i have not found in such a very very long time i have no idea if you can see it but i have not found one of these in an absolute age and I think the last one I found oh, sorry so much just sidetracked me there and the last one I found I think was on Bottle Beach and I think it had some paint in it and this one has paint in it as well I think it's a little paint pan oh it's got writing on the bottom so it's a Reeves paint pan that is a beautiful little gem of a find sorry my shadow a gem of a find a paint pan with painting looks like a probably a creamy or an ochre sort of colour Yep, not found one of those probably since last year. That is a super little gem. Wow, we are finding lots and lots of gems today. This is a gem extravaganza of a find today, isn't it? Bumper mega gem find. 
Oh, here we go. We've got some, uh, right. some pipes here. Ah. This is a very big pipe, this one. This is a very late pipe, this one here. It's got, now, got a code on it. It's got a code, yeah, but it's a very late pipe. But pipes had a very, very oh. interesting oh. history, very interesting history. Like, they never started off as a tobacco thing. Didn't they make... No, it wasn't for tobacco. Many, many years ago, I think it was 14 one. 14 one. 14, yeah, 14 one. I get infected 14 three of them. It's also a different story. Um, it's a different story, right? Yeah, it's but, um, the 14 right story, one, goodness sake. A young guy called David John Stephen, front names. Right. Um, okay. He wanted to have a cigarette or right. smoke. Right. But okay. he didn't have no riz Rizzlers. Rizzlers? They had Rizzlers in Rizzlers 1401. Rizzlers or... Um, okay, Rizzlers in 1401. Or stuff that they rolled in tobacco with. Leafs, probably. Leafs. And um, he decided he needed to have that smoke. So he decided, right. what, are you, what are you going to do? What are you right. going to do? Is he, in them days, yeah. pipes were used for blowing bubbles for kids. Used for blowing bubbles for, for kids. kids. yes. So they were originally made for so, kids. And they were called fairy pipes. Fairy, kid, right, kid okay. So yeah. he took the yeah. fairy pipe and he stuffed yeah. his tobacco in it and smoked it, and he found that it was quite an in interesting smoke. An interesting smoke. Very interesting smoke. Well, if you smoke, about if it. you smoke, you'll understand. What I mean, and he enjoyed it. So he wanted to keep the pipe, like right, you know, okay. and um, keep it for his tobacco. And all his friends thought this is a great idea, Stephen John, whatever you know, great idea. And um, but the trouble is. He, the child wanted the pipe back. Right, well, fair enough. It was the child's pipe. He stole so he got rid child. of the child. What? He got rid of the child. What do you mean he got rid of the child? Well, it was a bit... Well, let's just say he blamed the reason the child disappeared Disappeared? For the bottle he was drinking in. In them days, you used to have uh. bottles with big long pipes in it. Right, like, so those know, stories of the pipe and yeah. the baby's bottle connected. And they're saying, they're saying that the, the pipe suffocated the kids and stuff like that. Suffocated but, the kids? But, um, so what <laughs> actually happened right. is... He gave, he sorted that out and, and he used it as an excuse to get out of it. But all his mates were doing the same thing. His mates so were all these children were suffering the same incident. And oh. um, until a, a young gentleman called Tennant oh. come along. Oh, right. Tennant. Now, Tenant. Don't, I don't want you to get confused with the actor right. David Tennant, who oh. played Doctor Who. Right, on no the, one he played would. the doc, tenth doctor on Doctor Who. No one would. Right, but it's not yeah. him, so please don't get confused with him. A tangent, uh, so, um, and he's 12, well, hardly Eccleston, I think it was, yes. Right, but, it was but anyway, he decided to make pipes himself right. for smoking. Right. And decided not to interfere with the the fairy pipes. So right. he created a, a slightly larger, you get more tobacco in it. Right, okay. And he stamped his name on it. Right. And, and it went on from there, videos. and you'll find... Eh? That must be true, I've seen those yeah, Of course it's true. T.W. Tennant bangs right on it. Oh, and that's, that's the official story. I, you know what, Alex and Gail did a similar story, but it was nothing like that one. Oh, no, 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 mine's the original. And, and, um, oh, right. so, Sorry, girls. So, anyways, as the newer pipes came out... Right. Ireland jumped on the barn wagon. Oh. Um, as the newer one oh. came out, the bottle problem stopped. All oh, right, that disappeared. Uh, apart from them going bankrupt and not being able to sell any bottles, yeah, it, it has faded away. Right, so that's know. how they got rid of the baby killing bottle. Yes. By it, by getting more smoke, getting people to smoke. It was nothing to do with them getting rid of the bottle. It was, it was because by tenant creating a bigger what? pipe for Who tobacco. Who knew? Who knew? That it's that was amazing the history. Well, you know, people. Yeah. I've heard different versions of this story. I'll never believe Alex and Gail again. Yeah, I don't believe them either. Well, I didn't want to say nothing to their face. No, it would be rude. Yeah. You know. Anyway, that's a proper story, and and, and and through the years, the pipes got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. and eventually they got rid of the pipe. Right. And went back to the Rizzler. Right, back to where they started. Back to cigarettes. Oh, well, thank you, Mick. I know how to put a story together. Let's go find some more. Well, let's just say I'm really, really sorry about Mick's history. I'm not going to say I'm sorry. It's... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Beautiful.
is a great sight. My little pocket of gems full to bursting. Isn't that amazing? Got some really good things in there. On the way, as per usual, I think these must be newer holes over here. Let's have a look what this is. What is this? Oh, that's a bit... Ah, I've not got one that size. The Cheeseborough Vaseline. I have not got that size. I've got smaller, but well, not that size. So that is a great little find. Cheeseborough. Right, you know what? If it's fresh spoil, let's have a look. See if there's anything else. Oh, and look at that. A jam pot. There you go. Not even chipped. A nice thin one. That is a beautiful little find, and I don't find them that often now. Probably because I've picked them all up already. But there you go. A jam pot. And I love, I'm a jam pot rescuer, so. And always will be. So we'll have that. Will that go in? And that will go in there nicely. Another shoe. All a different style again. That's a man's shoe by the look of it. I have um, picked up a few. Um, gone past a few uh, other shoes that I've not shown you. Oh, look. Worn right down to a hole. That's sad, isn't it? Worn it right down to a hole. Little bits of shoe everywhere. But yeah, two great little finds. A smooth, um, slimline marmalade jam pot. And a medium-sized cheese bra, which I haven't got. And there, it looks like the front of a shoe. Not that we want it, but we'll go and have a look at it anyway. What's that? What's that? Oh, that's somebody's arm. Up to his elbow. Or her elbow. Yeah, it is. I've seen them before. It's the front of a shoe. A very um, thingy. Very um, patterned front of a shoe. No good to me, though. But, we're, yeah, worth a look. Worth a show. I don't know why. I think they just collected them. All different styles of shoe. I think people even still do it now, actually. There you go, a front of a shoe. Anything else? That a bit of a doll's head, but doesn't look like a very big bit of a doll's head. It isn't. It's just the top bit with no details on it whatsoever. What's that? Oh, the bottom of something that had a picture on it. Let's see what that would have been. Something Hall, Albert Memorial, Manchester. Hmm, something Hall, Town Hall, and Albert Memorial, Manchester. Oh, what a shame. Looks like another part of that shoe, doesn't it? Look at that, that's the heel of that blue shoe. I'm going to put them together just in case somebody else finds the other, any other bits to it. Where was it? It's over there. Let's just go and put them together. Just in case another bit appears. I don't know, it might even go together fully. Oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Two parts of the shoe reunited. There you go, and it was only a little one. Look at that, I thought it was bigger. It's only tiny, right. As soon as they go together, we'll keep it. A little tiny shoe. Little chip out of it there, but that's all. That's, that is well worth gluing back together. Oh yeah, teapot lid, because teapot lids go on jam pots. And I've just found a jam pot. Oops, sorry. Just found a jam pot, so perfect. Teapot lid. For a jam pot, I wonder if it fits on the one that I've just got. Let's, should we try and marry it together and see? But I think this is fresh spoil over here because this is tons of stuff that I've not seen before. Right, let's get this big pot out. This little pot out, I should say. It's not very big. And let's see if we can marry it to that lid. There you go. That makes me very happy. <laughs> Just merely putting a lid on a, a jam pot and getting them to marry together. That's great. Mick, little Mick has left a little pile over there, so... Let's go and investigate before we look at anything else at all in here, in these fresh piles. Whoop. Let's, let's nip over here. Oh, there's another bottle there. That was quite... It's a sauce bottle, is it? But yeah, but look at the colour on that. Sidetracked going to this little selection of stuff here. Oh, what's that over there? That's weird. Right, we'll look at that in a minute. Oh, right, right. What have we got here on this pile that I suspect... Oh, that is a super wonky... Oh, it's a funny shape as well. Right, so... I'm not even sure if that's melted or it's just like that. That is... It's quite... Sort of conical, sort of... Flares out at the bottom like A-line. Okay, but it's in, it's indented on the flat panels. Yep, indented. As you can see, look. There, it's meant to be like that. So see if you can see that writing. I think it's meant to be like that. See... S and Co. Registered registration. That look at that wonky. That is super wonky, 
super wonky, super different. I like it. I will definitely be keeping that one. That's a great little find. Oh, ginger beer. Oh, I wish I had a full one. Well, I have got a full one, but I wish I had a recent full one that I'd found in this century, <laughs> not in the 70s. That is so, oh, a heartbreaker. Ginger beer. I, lo I love ginger beers, but I don't own that many. Uh, no, that was one I've just found. This one. Oh, that's a nice little um, jar. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely shape. Can I get away with that being pumpkin shape? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it looks a bit pumpkin-like for a Halloween craft? I should be doing them in a few weeks, so it's a possibility. And that one, I think I'll even keep that one because it's very bubbly. Can you see the big bubbles on that? And it's a beautiful colour. It doesn't even say sauce on it, although we know it's going to be a sauce bottle. But it's a beautiful colour and it's in perfect condition. So I'm going to say three gems there especially that wonky one i think it was i think it's meant to be wonky oh it's a jug there oh what shame oh completely oh completely mullered but what can you see there that is super exciting a button <laughs> buttons are always super exciting because they're tiny so it's nice to find I think it might be Mother of Pearl. Difficult to tell. I don't want to rub it. Is that another button you got there? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, oh, mate. I know like that. Button, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Black, it's a button. It? No. no, it's not a black button. It's a button, yes. Yeah, it's just a button. I'll continue. I need to investigate these ones. I know there's a history between the, there is, the, the holes. I'm sure there's a problem the history of the holes. Yeah, do your research, Mick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. do your research. The of holes, because they started off with one, but oh, no. we could have one. Oh, we'll see. He's going to research the button. Please beware. Research taking place. Here we go. Little shoe. Little tiny shoe. Oh, and that one has... Oh, look, that one's got his full upper on. A full upper and a little strap that would have had a little button. Look at that. Little strap there. How does that strap... Why is that strap... Oh, strap goes round the back to the front there like that. Look at that. A little shoe. I'm going to keep that because it's little. Put it with the other one somehow. But there you go, the little buttonhole there. You see the buttonhole on the strap? A little tiny buttonhole. A little girl has buttoned a shoe up every day. There's no soul on it. What a shame. But I do have a, a soul, so you never know. It might marry up. We might make a complete shoe from the bits that we've found. And I think I found another small shoe over there. So we'll keep looking. And if I find any more bits and pieces of little tiny shoes, I will pick them up because... Um, I could do something with it. Do a nice little child shoe picture. I know I've done a shoe picture before, but we'll do one specifically um, for a child. Sorry, just... What is this here? Oh, I don't know, it's heavy. It's a stone, but it's shaped. I like it. Is it, is it lead? No, oh, it's lead, that. It's so, so heavy. That is lead. Yeah, that is lead. That is, what is that? It's got a hole through the middle of it, by the look of it. It's shaped, look like a sort of a, like a, a weight for something, but that is really heavy. That is that is very heavy. A lead weight, and we will be keeping that. I'm sure I'll find a use for it or whatever, but that is a massive piece of lead, very, very heavy. I'm just going to pop it there with my little shoe so that I don't forget either of them. And I was just. Um, I'm going to have a little look around this fresh bit here because it's all fresh here. So I've been finding a few gems. There's a full egg cup there. Honestly, I've got loads of egg cups. I don't know why I keep picking them up. Um, I can't help myself sometimes. You know what it's like. A little bit more of a shoe. Let's see, just to make sure. Is that another? No, it's not. I thought it was another pencil. You know what it's like when you, you find a couple of... I did see a bottle. A bottle caught my eye. A little bottle caught my eye. I don't even know if it was over here now. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, there, it was that bottle there behind me. There you go. Oh, it's busted anyway. It was that bottle that caught my eye. But then next to it, look, a little headless figure. A little headless, armless, footless figure. Yeah, I'm not, I've got so many of those, honestly. I've got so, so many. So many that I haven't done anything with. Oh, just, I just have a massive build up of crafts. And I've got so many heads, so many bodies, 
so many figures that I just I can't get around I can't get around to doing them honestly because I'm doing other crafts um don't forget Manchester Mudlarts gets crafty other channel even if you don't like crafts go over there because we've done some live walkabouts or we've done some filmed walkabouts so yeah that's me that's my doorbell going off on my phone sorry about that and um, but yeah get over to Manchester Mudlarts gets crafty because we do lives there uh, live walkabouts filmed walkabouts um anywhere in the country we could be going so yeah it's not just about crafts on that channel Oh. Can't. There it is. It's right in there. There it is. Nestled in there. A little caster. A little black caster. There we go. That's a beauty. I love a caster. Um, I've used them a few times. They make good stands for little bottles, and which is I've just got there. So there you go. Good stand for a little bottle. A caster. Well, that looks like. Oh, I say the end of a dolly peg, but it is, that's all it is. It's just the end of a dolly peg. Not a full, oops, not a full one. I have found a few on here already. But yeah, nearly, but not quite. Okay, just put my glove on that. It might just be a piece of broken glass, but just in case that isn't a piece of broken glass, I'm bringing you with me. And it isn't a piece of broken glass. Oops, oh gosh. I think that possibly is a hat pin or a bead that sorry i can't tell it's got a, that is either the top of a hat pin or a bead but that is a beautiful find i, th I thought what well, i've seen some broken glass you see so i thought oh it's just a piece of glass but i thought you know what it does look a little bit pretty so i'm just going to switch the uh, camera on just in case because I, I do prefer it when we find it together that is a beautiful little find a little glass i'm, I'm going to say i am going to say hat pin blue hat pin top thing that is a beauty of a find a little gem got we are finding we are finding lots of gems today aren't we so it just shows you when there's no no bottles around your eyes focus beyond don't they onto the soil onto the ground because you have to so you have to find some little gems to show you don't you don't we so yeah my eyes a little bit more focused today a little bit more glasses wearing um, but yeah, that is a little beauty, a little, I'm presuming, you may know different, hat pin end. I think it's glass. Um, I'll have to test it and see. Yep, I took my glove off. Give it a tap, it is glass. So yep, hat pin um, top, I think. Hat pin bead. Okay, walking over to another hole and here is a bone handle. And you know I like a bone handle. I do have um, toothbrushes. Well, toothbrush, oh, there's a, is that a marble? Toothbrush ends, I can marry it too. And is that a marble? Yes, it is. A super lovely clay marble. Two great little finds. Look right near. Mixed bag, he's missed them. He's walked past them. But I found him a super white clay marble, bone handle, a little bit gnarled. But we can probably marry it to something. What's that? Is that a lid? Is it a full lid? No, it's not a full lid. But yeah, there you go. A couple of little gems couple more little gems I should say it's been such a gem find today I found something down here could be lead it could be I don't know what do you think it is before I pick it up see if you can guess what do you think it could be I'll go around a bit I think it's lead and I think it's an arm could be wrong there's an arm it's like holding a sword let's get a focus up for you sorry guys there you go it's like this, yes little hand it's an arm Holding a sword. I'm not going to bend the sword back because it might um, damage it. But that's a lovely little find, that. Just sitting there, minding its own business on the ground. Just down there, like that. Minding its own business. Getting to no sorts of no good. Yes, uh, like a little arm there. Or a sword or something there. I, I think it's, yeah, it looks like a hand at the end. A hand at the end. Sword, maybe a whip, I don't know. But it's lead, anyway, it's made of lead. It's a lovely find, and we're going to keep it. I'll give it to Sarah, put it in her bag. What is it? Oh, look at that! Oh, let me get my shadow out of the way. A little soldier's... Oh, it looks like a jointed one as well, that Mick. Looks like it would have moved with his little sword. Little lead soldier's arm. Right, just need to find the rest of it. 
that it's an odd little find but it's a super little find right over there right i shall go have a look over there when i've been to this hole here but that is great let's see if we can find the rest of this um little soldier there's something in there i don't know what it is but we should look together might be nothing let's check oh missing a head which is a shame the head in there missing a head I'm sure we'll keep it. Put a head on it. Why not? Well, that looks like half a pipe bowl, but just in case it's got some embossing on it, we'll give it a little bit of a pull over. Has it? Don't forget to look a bit closer because last time. No, it is a plain one. It's plain and it's half. I don't need to keep a plain half one, but I will look, we'll put it there for the next person that comes along because that could mean the world to somebody else, wouldn't it? Half a pipe bowl. It's only a cork, but still usable, so I will pick it up and I will keep it. Right, let's see if there's anything in Oh, there's a bottle sticking out there. Let's see, any joy with that one. And yeah, it's a lovely flared lip. And it's so thin as well, so that was a lucky, that was a lucky little find along the edge, wasn't it? One, one dig away. I've said it before, lots of things are just one dig away, aren't they? So, so bottle neck there that looks well and truly in there well, I will investigate that in a second what's that oops bottom of a bottle right oh that looks like no that, that was a vial I'm gonna say a tiny little bottle that was like a vial is it whole of course it is because vials are the thinnest <laughs> most vulnerable bit of glass on here and they always um, stay whole so there we go a little selection of three things there Let's have another little look along here. Let's see if there's anything else poking out. Sorry, let's do know. It might be a bit too close to see there. My camera, don't forget, it's a sports camera, not the best for close up. Nope. Go as slow as I can, though. That was that other bottle, wasn't it? That looks like, like a beer bottle. Probably bring the whole side down if I take. Try that. Sorry? Okay, what have you got there? Ooh! Oh, it's a little figure, a little girl with a, looks like a, a mirror in her hand or something. Oh yeah, just missing a face, better than that one I got, she's got her arms. Yeah, so that is definitely better than the rubbishy one I found earlier, I don't know if you saw it, but it had no arms, it had no head, it had no feet. There really wasn't much left of it, but that one is far better, she's just missing her face and her legs, but we can we can actually chop her off at her legs. There you go, three little gems there. Sorry, four little gems, because we've got that cork. Um, that bottle, I don't think that's whole. You know what, should I? No, it's just a neck, I can pull it. I can pull it, so it's just a neck. But you never know, you never know. Right, anything on the floor here? I will have a quick, quick look because the bottle diggers definitely miss any little little gems, don't they? What's that? I don't know. It's not that they miss them, they don't want them. They're not interested in the little piddly little things, are they? Right, let's have a quick look on these sides here. Um, a cursory look. That looks like a stopper down there. I was just going to say, cursory look. Can't see anything, but down there, that looks like a stopper. So let's go for it. Let's just check these edges just in case we can see anything. I try to go slow. You think you're going slow and then when you watch it back, it's quite quick. It's very hard to do. Going very slow, but that was like a stopper. And it is, and it's a beautiful stopper. So it was well worth coming down for a lovely aqua stopper. Right, is there anything else trapped in these sides? Broken lid. What's that? Don't know, bit of nothing. Yep, I can't. plastic bottles. This has been dug a few times, I think. Right, okay, you know what? I'm happy with that. A glass aqua lid. Beautiful little find. Don't forget, it was held on with a little metal thing with a little screw thing on top to um, hold it onto the lip of your jar. Yep, a glass stopper, always a super find. Now, just coming out and I can see that it looks like the bottom of something. What do, we, what do we think? Looks like it might be green or aqua. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to no. put that in my jacket pocket. 
let's have a go might be modern might not be you just don't know we're here now so might as well give it a try it feels full actually that's not to say that the lip isn't broken though that's well and truly buried in there this looks an odd shape maybe it's just a, like a flask shape but let's ugh, get it out and see it's just like a little flask but these are great and it's bubbly i can see it's a lovely old is it applied lip that might be its saving grace you know what i like that that is a lovely oops that's a lovely aqua bottle that oh, with a wonky neck don't know if you can see the wonkiness of stick it behind something white leans over to the right wonky neck flask bottle aqua great for potion bottles because you can put a lovely big label on the front of there so because i've dug it out so oh, it's a bit of a nose sorry because i've dug it out i'm going to keep it and there we have a little doll's nose look at that that is a super little find just when i was holding it up against there for you to see the wonkiness i just saw that little nose poking out and she is definitely a keeper oh wish i had the rest of it though but yeah little nose will do for um some sort of craft oh, some sort of craft there it is <laughs> sorry there you go oh she's got teeth as well that's made me no notice that she's got a teeth behind her lip as well so there you go that's a bit creepy but nice Let's put it in my bag before I lose it again. Just noticed on this vial actually that it's got um, a lip and they don't usually have lips on them. So, yep, there you go. Just thought I'd show you that one has got a little bit of a lip on it. I can see a bottle over there. So, on the way, let's have a little... Let's put my bag down. Oops, without everything tipping out of it, that would be a good idea. Right, I'm just going to scan the sides just in case. We found a few little gems on the side. Oh, is that a bottle as well? <sighs> oh, busted, busted. While we're down here, let's see if we can see any little gems that have rolled down. Oh, lots of glass that needs turning over. Right, I can't see any particular gems or finds on the side here, but that bottle, what is it? Oh, now. That looks like something I haven't got. It's absolutely cracked, internally cracked, but but it's embossed so I can paint it if it's got some good writing on it. What is the writing on here? It says James Woolley Sons and Co. Manchester. Look at that, absolutely just clinging on for dear life. If that makes it home, if, if that makes it home, I will paint it. I'll, I might even cover that side in resin. <laughs> just to keep it together if that makes it home in one piece i haven't got it i can paint it a lovely dark color i think put gold over the writing that will look lovely a james woolly sons internally bashed but yeah let's be hopeful let's just be hopeful that we can take it home and save it give it a new lease of life because i have not seen that bottle before another not found before find i don't know if it is but it certainly looks like it to me Looks like a stopper. Oh, that's a cod. Oh, it's a marble in it. Oh, the marble's in it, right. Not a full cod, but the marble is in it. It's just it's stuck at the top. I can see through there. If we can do that, I'll poke that out in a minute because this is the stopper that I came for. As per usual, sidetracked by shiny things. Here we go. I think this one looks clear enough to read. We're in Fletcher and Holt, Manchester. A super find, a stopper. Let's pop that in the bag. Now let's find something to poke this marble down so you can hear it rattle in the uh, neck. What have we got? Whatever that is, off a brush is it? I don't know. But oh, there we go. Can you hear it? There you go, cod marble. Oops. Cod marble still in there. Even that is a great find and I'm not going to smash it. I've smashed loads to get the marbles out. But I now have a couple of these still in the necks and I think it's nice to keep it in the neck sometimes so you can decide what you want to do with it right okay so that was a nice little find i'll just have a quick squeeze around here and see if we can find anything else well there's something down here i don't know what it is pick it up coin maybe might be a coin maybe an old penny maybe I guess sarah if you get to get to her bag we'll Clean it up and see what it is. 
Yeah, it could be a penny. What's this then, Mick? Oh, what? Penny, maybe a point. Yeah, oh. Oh, what is it? That does look like an old penny or some such thing. Yeah, great little find. Very, very rare. I must say that we find coins. Very rare indeed. But yeah, that is a super little find. In that sonic cleaner, we might even get to see a little bit of that writing that I can just see. I can just see a bit of writing on that. And we never have any writing on. They're really, so usually very corroded. That is a great little find. Oh, what was a sorry sight. The bottom of a torpedo bottle. Those bottles are lovely. I do have one complete one and a couple that are just like up to the neck. But yeah, they are a beautiful bottle. They're a, a terror to store though because, you know, because they don't stand up straight. But um, I've got an old shaver, um, a uh, uranium glass shaver sharpener. It was in uranium glass off Snowy Dump. I put that and it's curved, so it's curved and it was a flat base. And these sit perfectly on it. So if you've got any of these bottles, look up the um, uranium. Uranium, I think they were shaver sharpeners or blade sharp shaver blade sharpeners or something like that in uranium glass curved with a flat bottom right and these sit perfectly on it so they make good stands for them obviously stands that make them lie flat not stands that make them go like that but yeah so just in case you've got one of these bottles you think how can i display it stop it rolling about um get one of those because it really does work there you go little handy hint there for you just scouring the ground and that looks like another white clay marble right so i'm going in yeah, oh, that looks like a massive one as well. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh, maybe it's not a marble, actually. Maybe. Or unless it's just a broken one. Or a hat pin. Or. Oh, I don't know that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. I need something to poke that. Let me just see if I can poke that out and see if it looks like a hole for the end of a hat pin. That might be a massive hat pin thing. Let me just get something to poke that out with. Yep, I think it's just a marble with a, a dint in it somehow. It's not a hole, but it's, it's, I don't know, I'm confused. I don't know, I think, I think it's a marble. I think it's a big clay marble and it just happened to have some sort of big dint taken out of it. But that is still a keeper and a lovely little gem, a great little find. Right, um, so what finds have you got for today then? Right, I'm just going to show you today the gems that I put in the bum bag, okay? Right. So just the little the things, bundling. the little things that excite me the most, I think. That's, it's fair to say. Right, I'm going to start with this. I have no idea what it is. It's speckled. It's got a little bit of a dint out of it there. It's beveled on that edge. I would you imagine some, something yeah, out of a necklace? Like or like a ring maybe, yeah. Or maybe. A, yeah, could be. Could be off a yeah. ring. Yeah, but you can see the colour better on that side. Yeah. Uh, which leads me to think that, that was probably the downside and that's beveled anyway mm -hmm. so that is a, a little gem there my favorite find is this i don't want to move yeah, it about too much don't find me those at all don't, really. i don't think i've ever found one it's a little bit busted on there but uh yeah a domino not found one of those before uh this which i think is a hat pin and a glass end to a hat pin right yeah that's a beautiful little find and I've not found one of these since last year. And it's a paint palette. It was just right. lying there with, good, yeah. with reeves um, on the back there. Pipe bowl. I originally just thought it was a plain one. But we've had these before. Yeah. Um, I, something to do with Ireland. Yeah, and it yeah. had 98 on the back. Right. Um, so yeah, I have had those before. I can't quite remember what it was about though. Uh, your little red, red thing there, whatever that right. is. A glass stopper always love a glass stopper this tiny little bottle it's got a pouring spout and it's cork in it yeah, and it's contents nice, it? yeah. nearly missed that pouring spout okay then there's a lead thing no idea maybe it's, it's sealed something probably yeah. possibly um bone handle right. a bone handle there um three um slate pencils right a little lead soldier's arm and it looks like an articulated arm yeah. so that soldier's arm would have moved it's yeah. just a shame we haven't got the rest of it it's a shame yeah then we've got this button yes the old button the yeah. old button yep i'm sure stories 
to they call are stories, that. yeah. Yep. I'll look into the storage for that because I think they, I can't wait. It's, it's the one button they started with one hole and they couldn't sew the button. I get ready. To, uh, and this and this is a dark doll, isn't it? A dark one, yeah. Yeah. A lot, lot more uh, tan than the usual pinky coloured one, so that's a nice little find. It is. Yeah. No, fine. It's a lovely little find. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I have, I've got. At first, I thought it was back of the head. Got a bit excited, but. It's just uh, something. This is something, but I don't know what. Yeah. Sort of something. Bottle stopper always go in my bag. Then the little nose there with teeth oh, underneath yeah. the lip. Look. Yeah. 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 See yeah, that little yeah. bit gruesome looking. Uh, caster, we love a caster, I love cast, um, a lovely ceramic caster. Three little bottles, that one's a vial, but it's got a, a thingy lip, it's got a blade like top lip to it, yeah. which is a bit unusual. A cork, which I use in my bottles, mm -hmm. um, and then three marbles, all different sizes. That one has a little bit of a ding on the other side, which right. is a shame, but that's a massive one, and then you've got that one and then a smaller one still so they were they were great finds right. and then a coin which we never find we never find coins it's probably a penny yeah probably, just probably a penny, a penny. Good good to see what years on it yeah yeah we'll see what the sonic cleaner says but yeah my star find out of all my gems maybe is the contestants or the uh, contestant maybe the, maybe the the viewers can guess what the date might be on that before oh, yeah, we clean it. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Before we show it on the live. Have a guess. Yeah. What date do you think that could be? Just stick it in the comments there. Have a little go to you yeah. get it right. Yeah. If you get it right, we'll put your name in the box. I'm going to say 1917. That's my I guess. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's probably 1963. Uh, yeah, but that by far is my best find. That's very good. It's only slightly damaged. So I'm very, very pleased with that. A little bit damaged there. But that is a beautiful find, and I will think of something to do with that. But also, I like that hat pin end as well. Yeah, that's nice. I nearly dismissed it as a piece of glass. But yeah, lots good. of gems, and those are just the gems. I very do good. actually have a bag of finds as yeah, well. Very good. Well, I think we call that a day. Yeah. It's been a lovely day today. It's been a great day. Great the weather and great sun's finds. sun's been fantastic. Yep. We've got our eyes onto the ground, it'll be fine. Yes. We've got our eyes down on the ground. Right down on the ground, and, yes. Uh, could have done a bit more scraping, but if you did. We found some good gems there. Yeah, some, nice some great there. stuff. Great gems. Great stuff. It's hard because it's all every, every normally this isn't this grown over. I've never seen yeah. this bad year grown no. over. But, um, we can only stick it with this place here at the moment uh, until it clears off a bit or until it dies down a bit. Yeah. And um, then we can get a snow dump. I've dump all the other big dumps we've got to do. And yeah. Some dumps we've not even been to yet. Yes. We just can't get into them at the moment. So I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel, all the members, yeah. Kofi's, Super Chats, Super Thanks, everything, everything you do to. Comments, Amazons, the views, comments, letters that you send, Sarah sends Sarah lots of letters, yeah, lots and of the gifts. pictures and little gifts she sends, we yeah. appreciate all of them. Absolutely. And, uh, that's it, we're just going to call it a day now. Yeah. It's been lovely having you all with us in this lovely weather. Oof. And uh, she's all going real soon. Yeah. Take yeah. care. Bye bye. Bye.